Okay, this is the uh, Tuttenauer Brinkman 2540E. Okay, this is an autoclave. You use it to sterilize things. There is a control panel. And at the bottom, there's a power switch. Okay, an autoclave is a pressure cooker. High temperatures, and it's controlled by this little microprocessor thing. <clears throat> On the top, there is an opening to the tank. This tank holds distilled water, and and it also has the outlets of the, um, as you can see, there's some pipes and that actually do the pressure release of the pressure cooker. So that little wire here <clears throat> is something that you pull from time to time just to make sure it doesn't get clogged up. It's also the reason why we have distilled water in here because <clears throat> we don't want all the calcium buildup because it will affect the uh, operation of these valves. Also, when you fill the tank, you don't fill it all the way to the very top. You use the stick here that's in the top to um, judge where the you set it to the uh, full line and no, no higher. <clears throat> so um, this is something uh, that you have to do to operate the autoclave and um, <coughs> and keep it healthy so it's working. It um, continues to work. Let's see if you can see the panel. The cycle we have shows the... Uh, that one shows that we're in the cycle for media. And as you can see, the temperature is 121 C. And the time is set for 30 minutes. And on the right-hand side, there's the pressure in the uh, chamber. <clears throat> so when you initiate a cycle, um, the first thing it'll do will be to pump water into the chamber. Then it will heat up the water to 121 C. When it achieves that, you'll also see that the pressure goes up to about 16 pounds of pressure. And then it will start counting down the 30 minutes so that you're assured that the whatever you place in there is going to get cooked for 30 minutes at 121 C at about 15 pounds pressure. <coughs> and uh, so that's also can be used for just instruments only and it can be used for the bio waste. So we actually can use this cycle for bio waste <coughs> and uh, that so that makes it very simple. You just uh, you use the uh, the flask button, and um, the temp the time is set for 30 minutes, which is the correct time, and 121 C. And when you want to start, you hit the start button. But since the uh, the door is open, we wouldn't do that. Okay. Next is inside the chamber. Um, when we place things in the chamber, we're going to place them in a tray. And this tray has a, uh, it looks like a perforated bottom, but the bottom of the tray is a capture tray. You must always use a capture tray so that the gel and media doesn't get pulled into the water of the autoclave. The autoclave is intended to have a distilled water steam pressure and that, and that is used to cook what's inside of here to destroy all the bacteria. So there must, you must always take precaution to make sure that you don't boil over whatever you put in here. If you're putting in bio bags, you don't want to have so many stuffed in there that when the gel melts, that it somehow escapes the bag and goes into the base of the chamber. That will actually cause the reservoir over here to fill with gel and become non-functional. Just a, a, a terrible mess. 
So um, uh, in the rest of the training, I'll be talking about the uh, how, how do you place things in there. Like uh, if you have a flask with agar in it, you only do 50% full. You put a loose top on it and you put a capture tray underneath it to make sure that no matter what happens you won't uh, boil over into the base of the chamber. Um, let's see, so since this is a pressure cooker you can see there's a, a door with a gasket just like a pressure cooker. When you close the door, um, let's see, you probably heard that click and that click, no it doesn't show the door closed yet. Okay, so then we spin down the handle and you heard that click. And that click says door closed. Okay, but the door's not perfectly closed. The, the seal could still be leaking. You want to tighten the screw down to the point where it's tight enough that the gasket is making good contact and that the chamber can maintain pressure because it's got to <clears throat> come up to 15 pounds pressure. So let's see. Other than that, the, the maintenance part of it, so you can run your cycle, you wait for it to cool down and lower the pressure so you don't pull things out when the temperature is still hot and the pressure is high. You're asking for a lot of trouble to do that. Um, the next thing is the um, there'll come a time when you need to clean or maybe uh, um, purge the uh, because someone did have an accident and then we need to purge the uh, the tank so what we do is we put distilled water in there and bring it to the full line and then we can take this <coughs> tubing and there's a valve here right here on the front of the uh, chamber. So if I place the tube on there, and this is actually a valve, and I'm running the, the tube down into the sink. <coughs> okay, so to drain the tank, I spin it counterclockwise, and water, as you can see, there's water coming through there. Is that visible? Yeah. You see that the water is coming through. So that is actually physically draining this tank. And then to, so you can do this to flush the tank. So you drain and then you replace the, the distilled water in the tank. And that will purge out any debris that could be pulled in there, pulled into the tank. <laughs> so that's... Um, that's a procedure you'll do as needed um, if the water in the tank starts looking brown or turbid or, you know, like not clear like distilled water should be. Um, you have to do that to, uh, to clean that tank out. Um, let's see. There's um, the other parts are, let's see, I'll stop for now. <clears throat>